Hey guys, it's Gilbert. What? Gilbert? No, Mythic. Mythic. Oh my god, he's infecting me. Anyway, so, hey guys, for this tutorial what we're going to be doing is um, basically scripting reinforcement panels. So, if you're ever in a uh, skirmish mission, uh, main campaign of the game, you'll notice that you always have like a few buttons, or in any custom mission, you always have a few buttons on the right hand side of your screen. Uh, to select uh, units and buy them and then once you buy them a small delay and then they spawn in and then you get to use them so this that's exactly what we're going to be doing now we may uh, just script a squad because it's basically just um, the same for each every like the setup of the trigger and the commands and the events is this set up for the same for each one so we may just end up scripting a squad for an example and then you can take that whole script and then go and copy it to say a tank or an airplane or stuff like that so uh, that's basically what we will be doing so uh, without further ado more Gilberts will be included in this video also do note disclaimer no Gilberts no Gilberts are harmed in the making of this video and I hope you do all enjoy and um, if you have any more questions leave them in the comments and leave a like and subscribe if you all enjoy so without further ado let's get on with the video hey guys before we start this tutorial I just would like to say a few things first so the first is um, the Warhammer 40k series will be returning and it's all thanks to me seeing a comment on the last video which is uh, from a guy called walking Bible so big shout out to that dude um, I'm not sure if Bibles can walk. That's pretty, pretty weird if they can. Um, so basically, I've been working on um, a cinematic trailer for it, and hopefully, it is good enough for you guys to um, get a little hyped for the return of the series. And uh, I hope it do a good enough job so you guys are super hyped. So, anyway, um, I would also love to maybe include Rebot since he's an epic mission descriptor. And, you know, that dude is such a nice guy. So, anyway, uh, the second thing is uh, thank you guys for 311 subscribers. Um, to be honest with you, it, it still kind of amazes me to, to think that 311 of you guys are subscribed. And I know that I'm a ragtag... Uh, YouTube channel and I don't always upload and I do apologize for that and that is mainly my fault so um, you know I just would like to say thank you and basically um, I would love to do live streams so I can get more interactive with you guys because you know not a lot of you comment and that's okay that's that's mainly because of my fault but anyway um, yeah I would love to do more live streams and I know I keep saying it and I know I, I keep meaning to do, but uh, uh, finding time is a little difficult right now at the moment. So, um, so, but that's that's no excuses. I will do more live streams. So anyway, um, and also teach you guys some mapping skills at the same time. Some what I'm working on nowadays because I don't really map as much anymore. And when I do, it's very little progress on each map. The only one I've focused on is, or focusing on is the 40k maps and <clears throat> a little bit of something else, but I'll show that in screenshots very soon. So anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. Enough of my rambling. Um, anyway, so for the, oh yes, also the third thing is for this script we're only focusing on the squad. Um, reason why is because the script can be used for vehicles and air vehicles. Of course you may need to set select the uh, air vehicle, make sure there's a dude inside it, select the air vehicle. On the right hand side, uh, properties you see you should see chassis, um, wheeled, turn that from wheel to airborne, and then down below you should see altitude, put it to 30 and your vehicle or air vehicle will now be in midair to the point of where you don't actually have to manually um, do it yourself S or t uh, control the plane and take off manually by you know direct control anyway so we're just going to get rid of this guy here what we're gonna do is then very yes very suspicious is uh, first you always need to load up your golden rules which is uh, map mission and units and also f3 f3 very important now 
uh, to tag the units, we press U on the keyboard. And of course, U on the keyboard tags. And we're going to tag this as, um, let's see, uh, you guessed it, squad. Squad underscore Gilbert. I think Gilbert's becoming um, the mascot for this. And of course, the tag has been distributed. Then we need, also need a hidden tag. It's very important that we have these. Um, or else the script will not work. Now, we're gonna move these guys. You For reinforcements, you want them to come off the border of the map. So, uh, we're gonna create our waypoint group here and we're gonna call it uh, attack underscore reinforce. There we are, we've created the group name and now we add our waypoints. Uh, select the waypoint, add, and for me, it's just going to be from zero to one. So, because I don't really want them to run across the map and you know have you guys watch that. So, it might be different for you guys. So, um, now that's uh, done, I'm going to go back to the entities, and we're going to make sure all our dudes are selected. I'm going to go F9. For me, my uh, units are placed in, uh, pl as player ones. So, this may be different for you guys. It's it's optional wherever you want this to happen. So, player. Uh, player one what this means is whenever you start the simulation or the mission um, You will start as player one always so Then we go down to events and what we want to do is open events of course my my uh, some of my um, little Command prompt whenever I oh, hover over things you'll see LR gear uh, That is French and the reason why is because I have a bunch of mods enabled that is why we have a Gungan um, Why do I have a Gungan? Well, why not? Um, to, in order for you guys to get that, Gungan, uh, go down to the description of this video and the links to the mods and everything that I use will be there. So, now for the helper events we go, um, we put uh, underscore by underscore uh, squad squad uh, underscore Gilbert, there we are, put that in. That's all we need for there. So, then we go to reinforcements, open this up. Uh, mission reinforcement prompt box, we get score total. So, the score total is how many points you can get up to, which is maximum 5,000, which you would see in a skirmish mission. So, a skirmish mission, it would normally be around 7,000. And as you watch your points grow and grow until they reach 7,000, that's when they'll automatically stop and you can't get any more. So, the score current is going to be how many we start off with, and um, again it's going to be four, five thousand. So now that's that done, we just left click in deselect and right click in the blank area and add an insert. So what we're going to call this is squad underscore Gilbert underscore preset. And of course, this will be different for you guys. Uh, make sure that you're not following the whole Gilbert thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure whenever someone like takes a look at this in F3 mode and they'll see everything is Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert this, Gilbert that. I'm pretty sure they're going to be like, what the hell is this dude's obsession with Gilbert? So, uh, just just make sure you're following your own your own method and your own um, uh, professionalism whenever you're scripting missions. So, um... <laughs> So what we're going to do is, now that we've created this, we get all of these other little subsections and we're going to miss out state, text, image, and hint, and we're going to go straight down to count. Now we're going to put in count of 10, no, nope, maybe 15. So the count, what this means is I can now purchase 15 of those uh, Gungan squads, or the squad, squad and the Gungan. Um, the score of, um, means how much they will cost, so 450, that's about Right, and five delay is how long it will take for them to, um, you know, count down before they spawn in. So the waypoint, because we put waypoint zero, and it may be different for you depending on what waypoint you're starting them from. So um, just put in whatever waypoint you want them to start from. Event end is very important. We're gonna open this, and we, as we see, uh, the helper event is right there. So helper. Um, by squad Gilbert, we're gonna put that in. Uh, we hit OK. So now that whole section is comprende, complete, you know, all done. We hit OK. Uh, we go straight to triggers. Now we don't need no zones, no nothing else. Um, triggers, we right click, add an insert. Uh, we want to call this show underscore reinforce mints. Mints. 
If I can spell reinforcements right. Oh, there. Reinforcements. There we are. And then we're going to put a slash. Now, what this actually does is squad um, Gilbert. Now, Gilbert. Now, what this actually does is this allows you to keep um, a very nice and tidy uh, trigger box. So now, whenever I hit OK for demonstration, let's have a look. So now that it says show reinforcements, it now has a little subfolder or sub uh, command called squad Gilbert. And then to add more, you just go add, delete this name here. Um, we call it, uh, but, but why? Because why? And then we hit OK. And now it's added another sub command called, uh, but why? So now you know how to do nice, um, clean uh, trigger boxes. So. Uh, this is, allows you for professionalism. So now that we have squad Gilbert here uh, We're gonna miss out conditions and go straight to commands add and of course reinforcements and event is up in my most recent So what we're gonna do is go into other straight away uh, Find reinforcements. There we are Show we want them to show so make sure operation is show name We're gonna put in Gilbert Squad Gilbert preset, so all that stuff with the count and the, and the delay and the event end That is what we're linking this to so we put that in there. We are now. That's all done So we just close that up and we right click and add insert, uh, insert again, so squad Squad um, underscore actual um, Actual uh, Underscore trigger I put that in and we also do sub squad actual Gilbert uh, we hit okay so now that creates a little another uh, subdivision again and we go straight into conditions uh, you may want to keep this nice short and simple as you know as you can see it is now starting to go off of the little UI here so then we go into conditions, um, events, we open up events, um, we want it to show work. Now the ID, the ID is the bias squad Gilbert, which is the helper event. We hit OK, and then that is all good to go. So we're all good in the conditions now. We go down to commands and we right click and add. Now the first thing you're going to want to add is waypoints. Now the first one you're going to want to actually, uh, it may be blank for you. So the properties for waypoint is actor. You don't want to put it in a squad. Um, again, actor, um, all the additional, maybe the tag as well. We want to also put as squad Gilbert. Uh, player type state, uh, not dead. We just miss out. Uh, player, you can put that in if you wish. Ooh. Now, but I'm just going to put it in anyway. Neutral. No, nope, maybe I'm not. Nah, I don't need that in. It's it's optional if you want to put it in. The waypoint that we're starting from is waypoint zero. Clone. Make squad. Uh, don't need a name squad. Approach. Do we do we do we? Nah. Approach. Name squad and copy squad and approach do not touch because we don't need them. Now the reason why teleport and rotate. Um, isn't added to that is because whenever we select to place down our units they'll actually spawn whenever we select so we don't really need that so then what we're going to want to do is open up event oh sorry wrong one uh sorry i need it i, I like to do my stuff in order so actor state sorry we'll want to open that up and then we're going to open this squad gilbert hit okay and then we're going to just put them out as a salt and yeah so that's basically that squad Gilbert and then now we want the event now we want the event so the event is um, of course by squad Gilbert um, set we want that to reset the delay is five and now the add another delay reason why we want this is because it's a very important delay uh, I may have to ask uh, Rebot about that. <laughs> the, um, 
because I think I did mess up yes in the last episode. I think I I said something about um and t uh, less than greater than some of the I I think I messed up. I wasn't really paying attention, and he actually pointed that out to me. So I am deeply sorry. I'm sorry, Lord Lord Rebot. Um, I w I will make it up to you. Um, so now that we wanna. <laughs> Now that we also want to add in the trigger, so the reason why we want the trigger is to um, not show reinforcements. We want close that show. We want to show the trigger. So we hit OK, and then we hit OK. And we don't want to check off on either. We just want to hit OK. So now that's all done. Now we go here. Maybe we want to move these guys a little back there. So now there we are. Now for the demonstration, to begin, we're going to press start. And as you can see, we have the button down there in the right hand corner. So this works for vehicles, air units, and all that mumbo jumbo. You can call in airstrikes with this and experiment. So we're just gonna uh, experiment. And wait until these guys pop in. There we are, Gungan leading the assault so that's how to script uh, waypoints they're very simple and basic to do um, or sorry reinforcements uh, it's a little confusing so you guys may need to like go back and have a look at the trigger every once in a while so uh, if you guys did like this tutorial and sorry that I, I talk in a lot in this one it's just I would l like to explain it to the best that I can so it's easy for the you know the new beginners and those who are not really understanding to get a grasp of it so it's really simple just basically copy this script um just basically place down a tank tag it and then do the same like layout for the tank and the airplane so that's all I can really teach you for now if you guys did like this tutorial please leave a like comment and subscribe and a dislike if you feel that I talk too much, um, just go ahead, knock yourself out. Um, it just helps me on feedback. So anyway, enough of my talking. Uh, yes, so the Warhammer 40k series will be returning. And I am also thankful for 311 subscribers. I, I just want to make that very, very um, noticeable that I am very happy for 311 subscribers you guys are totally awesome but anyway um, without further ado I shall say my goodbyes hope you had a nice evening day or night and I will see you all in the next tutorial bye